everyone, Mr. Merkich here, and today's another Skype tool video, and I thought I'd just go back over mass messaging, because ever since I made the original video, um, a lot of people have been asking me questions about it, and I thought if I just make the video, we can stop the questions and just get on with it. Uh, so basically, you might know the questions and what people would like to know about mass messaging, adding the tag, how to display usernames and things like that, so I'll just be going over that. Now it's pretty simple, I'm not really sure how people don't figure it out themselves to be honest, but I know some people, they don't have the ability to, so I'll just tell you how. So this is our math message code, um, some people you might already have it because I've told you how to or you've just fi figured out, but for those who don't, um, this video is just for you. Uh, so this is what your code should look like, uh, as you can see we're just grabbing each user and our friends and sending them a message. Um, just with the basic text that you input in this box here. Uh, so to improve this, uh, what we can go and to do first of is we can add a tag to it. And if you don't know what the tag is, you've probably seen mass message tools that will tell you sent by the tool name or things like that. So I'll quickly go over that. So all you want to do is come after your text and you want to type plus VB new line, which basically create a new line down. Uh, but we're going to be using two actually to uh, go two lines down and we'll use another plus and we just put a bit of text here and basically what this does is we'll just create two lines down from the original text and add on a bit of your text of your choice um, to every message so inside here you'll put sent using oops sent using a tool name or something like that that's what they usually say and you can even add emojis like you need to know the emoji name though uh, you need the bracket and you put the name inside so the one I know is just a smiley face or just happy put happy inside and you want to do that both sides but make sure on the on the uh, this one here the first side you leave a space in between because it won't create it if there's a space uh, not a space so just leave a space like that um, so now what you've got is your original message it will go two lines down and add the little tag here Obviously you make the text and the emojis to whatever you wish, but you get the rough idea. Um, the next thing I'm going to show you is how to add sort of a starting message. So what I mean by this is you may have seen tools that have the little contact thing like that. And once that's applied within the message, it will display the user's name. Um, there's also first name and last name. Uh, but for some reason, for me anyway, I'm not sure if it's just me, that didn't no longer work for me. So I just used a different method. Um, if you look, we're getting the user. Now with the user, we can do a lot of things. Um, you can see we're already using their handle. Uh, so what we want to do is we can get a lot of information about the user now that we have them. So at the start of the message, before the text box, if we just put a little string here, um, we can say hello, bear in mind you can change this to whatever you wish, you don't have to copy me, but it could be hello, and then you want to leave a space because what we're going to use next will not create the space, and you'll get uh, sort of a messed up message, so leave the space in between the O and the last speech mark, and you want to type space, user, dot, and you'll see we get a whole load of information about them. But all we really want to take is the full name because that will grab the name for us. And we want to use another plus and we want to uh, add on a, a, a comma. So a comma and another space to uh, leave the space. And we just want to connect those two with another at plus. So what we've got here is each message that you send, it will say hello username. Like let's say it's the message is getting sent to me. It will say hello Mr. Merkage with the comma and then it will display the message that they want and it obviously it will go down two lines and add the tag. Um, if you want this optional all you need to do is come into your code um, obviously you want to make it look a bit better but you'd have the checkbox up with it and you'd say uh, add, add the hey or whatever you know what I mean but you can uh, change this to whatever you want so we got checkbox free here. So while this is sending, we can say if checkbox uh, free dot checked is equals to true, then uh, 
we basically want to send this one. So let's copy that. Remove that line. So if it's checked, they want to add it. So that will go in this one. If it's not checked, it will send this line. So obviously we just want to quickly remove that back to how we had it before. So just down to the text box. Um, so what that will do is send them the op if it's optional now if you want to send them the hello or not so that's pretty much it hopefully this video solved some of the questions i've been getting um if you did enjoy it please leave a like and a comment and i'll see you next time